In this video, we are going to have enthalpy of reactions practice problems, but now using a direct method. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous video about the heats of permission, I suggest watching that. But if you don't want to, here's a recap. Direct method of solving a heats of reaction is only used for reactions that can go completely or that can occur in one step. Okay, so for example, I have this equation. Direct method uses this formula. The summation of the heat of formation of the products minus the summation of the heat of formation of the reactants. Expanding this, you will have this formula. So the coefficient C times the molar heat of formation of C plus the coefficient of product D times its molar heat of formation. So add them first, minus the coefficient of A times the molar heat of formation, plus the coefficient of reactant B times its molar heat of formation, or enthalpy. So that's how you do it, basically. Now let's have some examples. Okay, this one. The thermite reaction involves aluminum and iron 3 oxide. You need to calculate the heat released in kilojoules per gram of aluminum reacted with Fe2O3. Okay, so what are we going to do first? You only need to follow the formula. Since the equation is not given, you need to write the equation first. The reaction involves aluminum and iron 3 oxide. So you have aluminum plus Fe2O3. It says here that it will produce Al. 2O3 and Fe. So it's a single replacement reaction. Next, we need to make sure that the equation is balanced. This is unbalanced, obviously, because you have two aluminum and you have one. So you need to put two in front. Oxygen is balanced. You have three, you have three. Fe, on the other hand, only has one here and this one is two. So you need to put two in front, okay? Now we can use our formula. So we start with the product. Coefficient of Al2O3 is 1. You can opt not to write 1. Then Al2O3, the enthalpy is negative 1669.8. Plus, this is Fe. Fe the coefficient is 2 and the enthalpy is 12.40. Okay, so add them first minus the reactant. So A, aluminum is... Two. Okay, the enthalpy of aluminum is zero. Why? Because it is aluminum's most stable form. So it's always zero. And then add this. It's one times Fe2O3 is negative 822.2 kilojoules. So do the math. You will get negative 822.8 kilojoules. So this is the heat of the reaction. However, we are asked to calculate the heat released in kilojoules per gram of aluminum. So this one is actually for two moles of aluminum. So you can write negative 822.8 kilojoules over two moles of aluminum. Then we need to get the gram. So we need to multiply this by its molar mass. So this is one mole aluminum. The molar mass of aluminum from your periodic table is 26.98 grams. Some books will say 27, so it's fine. So cancel the moles. You will get kilojoules per gram. And this is equal to negative 15.25 kilojoules per gram. So this is our final answer. Next, calculate the heat of combustion for the following reactions. So I have here the table. By the way, the table should be given by your um, professor or teacher. Now let's have A, C2H4 plus 3O2. So let's solve it right away. Product first. So 2 times CO2 is what? 393.5 plus 2H2O, so coefficient copy, this one. H2O is 285.8 kilojoules minus reactants. This is one, so just copy one. Again, you may opt not to write this. C2H4 is 52.3 plus B, this is 3O2. What is the enthalpy of O2? Zero. 
Again, it is the most stable form, so it's always zero. Doing the math, this will give you negative 1,411 kilojoules per mole. Next, let's have P. So again, product minus reactant. So this is 2, all right, 2. H2O is two, negative 285.8 plus 2SO2. So 2SO2 is this one, negative 296.4 minus reactants, 2H2S. So right, 2H2S is this, negative 20.15 plus 3O2. Again, it's 3 times 0. Okay, solve. Try to solve this. You will get negative 1,124 kilojoules per mole. Why kilojoules per mole? Because because everything is in kilojoules per mole and you're just subtracting, okay? Very easy, right? Let's have the last example. From the standard enthalpies of reaction, calculate the heat of the reaction for the reaction below. C6H12 plus 9O2 yielding 6CO2 and 6 water. Okay, so try to do this on your own first. Pause the video and solve. Please, just give us a break. Please just give us a break. Okay. So again, let's start with the product. This is 6, so I'll write 6 in front immediately. And CO2 is this one, negative 393.5 kilojoules. Plus the other product, 6, this is the 6, and H2O is this one, 285.8 minus the reactant. This, is, this one is 1, right? 1 times the enthalpy of C2H6. What is it? Oh, it's not given. But um, you can check the internet. It should be negative 151.9 kilojoules per mole. Plus, this is 9. 9 times O2. O2, again, is 0. So do the math. This will give you negative 3,924 kilojoules per mole.